So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the final method for controlling lines and drawing lines in AutoCAD. So we've looked at three already. We've looked at absolute coordinates, relative coordinates, polar, and now we need to look at tracking. So with tracking, it's probably the simplest one of all. Um, we will look at this shape here in a second. So what is tracking? First of all, so tracking is uh, within the line command. Essentially, you've got two steps. You've got to drag your mouse in the direction that you want to draw towards the next point. And then using the computer and the number on the keyboard, you type in the length that you want to draw in that direction. So tracking is where you draw the mouse in a direction towards the next point, And then you give the computer a length to draw in that direction. So let's have a look at this example here where we're going to draw uh, this basic shape. And on this one, you can see our starting point is given by a, an absolute coordinate up here of 65, 220. Now, there is one thing about this that you just need to be aware of, uh, and I'll, I'll show you in here. If I start off by drawing a line, and I, again, I'm come down here on my command line, L and enter, the starting point for the line is 65, 220, 65, 220, and enter. So there is the starting point for my line on the left hand side. Now you can see as I move my mouse, the direction that I'm dragging in uh, is a number of degrees off the horizontal. In this case here, it's 22.562 degrees up from the horizontal. So I can use tracking to draw in any direction. And if I type in a number, if I type in say 400 and press enter, it will draw a line 400 units long in the direction of the mouse. I'll do that again if I drag my mouse to here and type in 300 and enter it will draw a line 300 mil in that direction that's fine if you want to draw at uh, angles like that but what I'm going to do I'm just going to delete this for a second what I want to do is to draw this shape here so you can see that this is basically an orthographic shape all the lines are at 90 degrees to each other and the simplest way to control that in AutoCAD is by the orthographic toggle down here. So this looks like a little L shape with a square inside and the angle like that. When this toggle is turned off, it's a, a white color or grayish color. And if I do a left click on it, it turns blue. Now with that turned on, what will happen is all of the lines that I draw will be horizontal or vertical. That's all. I can't draw lines at angles. If I want to draw lines at angles while I have this still turned on, I'd have to use my polar coordinate system, which I can do. But for this example, I'm just going to keep it simple. So here we are again, 65 comma 200, and we want to draw a line 240 units to the right. So back in here, I go to my command line and I type in L and enter. It's asking me for a starting point, 65 comma 220 and enter. And there's my starting point. Now you can see that when I move my mouse, you can see the cursor is up there, uh, kind of to the right and above the start of the line. But look where the line is trying to go. It's horizontal. If I move my mouse here, you can see that the line is trying to go vertical up. Uh, I can draw it vertical down. And I can draw it horizontal to the left. So I'm snapping, if you like, to a horizontal or vertical line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mouse over to the right to give the line its direction. And if I look back at my target shape here, it's 240 units to the right. So I'm going to give it a direction and I'm going to type in 240 and enter. And the line will become 240 units in length. Go back here now, it's 145 units down the page. So I'm giving it a direction from where it is now. I'm giving it a direction down. And if you look there, you get a preview of the dimension. So currently that line is just under 35 millimeters long. It's 34.889. It doesn't matter what's written in there because I'm going to type in 145 using the keyboard and press enter and the line will get drawn 145 units in length. So I go back to my shape again, 65 to the left, 25 up. So I go to the left with my mouse and type in 65 and enter, then up. And if I give you an example here, I can actually put the mouse up as far as here. And you can see that the length of that line is currently uh, 196 millimeters long. But I'm overriding that by typing in 25 and enter. So it doesn't matter where I actually place my mouse in terms of the length of the line I'm drawing. All I'm using the mouse for 
is the direction and I'm using my keyboard to control the length of the line. So my next line, 120 to the left, then up 25. So I'm going over to the left, 1, 2, 0 and enter, then up 25 and enter, over to the left, 55 and enter. And again, I'm prompted on here that when I'm at this point, if I want to join back up with where I began, I can type in the letter C and enter and it will close it back without me having to actually type in any numbers. I can just go C and enter and it snapped back to where I began. So that is using tracking, probably the simplest way of all of drawing lines and it will work in any orientation, but it tends to work really well when you're looking at orthographic mode for outlines of floor plans and objects that have square corners.